Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is K1 Revelations on the Moon. It's going to be three unstoppables and three barriers. Moving on to the Builder view, we're going to be using Sunbreaker with Hammer of Soul. Any class ability with any jump. We're going to be using Throwing Hammer. I prefer Healing Grenades, but you could use the Damaging Grenade if you like. Moving on to the Aspects, Solar Ability Final Blows create Sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster, and your Super Drains more slowly while standing in a Sunspot. Roar Flames, final blows with solar abilities or ignitions increase your damage of solar abilities, stacking three times. Moving on to the Fragments, Ember of Torches, powered melee attacks make you radiant. Ember of Searing, defeating Scorched targets creates a Fire Sprite. Ember of Mercy, picking up a Fire Sprite grants restoration. And Ember of Solace, radiant and restoration effects have increased duration. This is more of a filler fragment, if you find something else down here that you like, feel free to use that instead. For the weapons, we're going to be using an auto rev for the barriers, a 1-2 punch shotgun since this is a melee build, and the Viathan's Breath for unstoppable stuns as well as boss damage. For the artifact mods, the only one that is really of importance here is authorized mods melee. Moving on to the armor mods, two hands-on mods will give us our super back faster with a heavy ammo finder for just in case, two heavy handed mods so we can make orbs. These orbs are going to be used to power emergency reinforcement as well as better already absolution and recuperation. A powerful attraction mod on the mark will make it easier for us to pick up the orbs. The exotic of choice today is Sithiseps. Alright, moving on to the Lost Sector run. We're going to try to get our first kill with the Baby Hammer, because that will make all of our other melee kills and powered melee kills, snacking Roar Flames as well as making Sunspots. We're going to use our shotgun with Radiant to pop the barrier. Wow, we're just punching everything else with the normal melee. Actually throwing the hammer would do a little bit more damage than just punching. As well as cure you. There will be an unstoppable spawn in now. To make sure it doesn't knock me off, I just gave it a very weak Leviathan's press shot to stun it. Now we're just gonna go back to punching everything. Champion has appeared. Two Leviathan's breath shots is enough. We did forget to shoot that first crystal. It's going to cost us about 20 seconds later. While this build is just a little bit weaker than actually throwing the hammer, it is actually easier because of the melee auto-targeting. I just realized I skipped that first one, so it's going to cost me about 25 or so seconds to go down there and get it. With, these, with this build, I think you could get the run done in about just over three minutes if you don't forget to shoot the crystals. For the boss, I'm just going to start shooting Leviathan's breath at it. I usually like to kill the boss before the barrier. I just think it's easier that way.
I was able to survive during that because I was always in a sunspot. Once you kill the boss, you can loot the chest. That's all there is to it today. Happy farming.